Thank you. Maybe you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! Shivers A Bite Podcast, episode 166, man. We got two people in the building. Ain't had two people in a while and shit, man. But we got uh, to the left, left, we got comedian, actor, D Pounds in the building. And to my left, we got motherfucking mm-hmm. Mass Payne, man. Rapper, singer, producer, writer, actor. What's good? What's going on? I, I, you spit, I heard some of your music, boy. You, you straight. Appreciate it. I was, man. Yeah, I was on my way here. You be singing shit. You ever use that singing shit to uh, get hoes? <laughs> oh, he get right to it. <laughs> <laughs> The singing ain't never. I mean, it people. Yeah, women. Women attracted me more so f- from me and my intellect. For sure. So, for sure. The singing should just make him like, oh my god, he sings too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, 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 I was always ha- a hater on them niggas who could sing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a cheat code and shit. It is like, though. It is. Go ahead, bitch, doing the whole Chris Brown video and like, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yo. <laughs> but uh, we start off every episode with salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for niggas to pass away before we tell him or her that you know what I'm saying. How we feel about them, how we love them and shit. Wait to make that long Facebook post after they die. But it can't be a typical answer. It can't be if you're in a relationship, your kids, your mom, your dad. It got to be somebody out there, easy answer. So y'all got somebody y'all want to shoot some flowers to? Uh, yeah, I know. go for it. I got, I want to shoot some flowers to my auntie Shirley Christian. Okay. She played uh my uh my mama's my mama in the movie, mm-hmm. his, his sister. Uh, she didn't act, bro. She don't act at all. Okay. And she was like, she didn't want to do the movie at all. Mm-hmm. I, and she was like, you know what? I'm going to do it because, you know, the family been talking to me. And they just want to have something that I'm immortalized in. So I want to give her flowers for having the courage to just go in front of that camera and do this. For sure. For sure. What about you, Doug? Uh, it's, I, I ain't going to lie. My list can go on forever, bro, because everybody that I have in my circle is definitely, you know, mm-hmm. positive in my life. But um, I tend to always give my people their flowers. So I'm going to just take this opportunity to be real bland and maybe cliche. But, mm-hmm. you know, my parents, man, I want to definitely oh, 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 nope. get them. Nope. Let- That's the easy oh, answer. Yeah. But it can't be a typical answer. It can't be if you're in a relationship, your kids, your mom, your dad. Your mom, your dad. Your mom, your dad. That's the easy. Yeah, okay, okay. No parents, no well, kids. I'm a, I, oh, but shout out to mom and dad. Yeah, yeah, shout out to I don't want to just cuff your, your mom no, and dad. I try, to, I, try to get to, <laughs> I try to get to where I can borrow a little cheese from later on. You know, fuck that up. So don't, 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 don't expect a nigga to uh, hit you up later on, Shay. Like, uh, yeah, let me. But the whole shit is like, I was going to no, get this but, shit. Um, Look, in that sense, man, uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll say like, shit, be real, huh? Can you use your ex? <laughs> go ahead, shit. Go ahead. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Real <laughs> shit when it life matters. Yeah. Only because, man, motherfuckers fuck up to yeah. help you realize like how great you really is. For sure. And, and, and it ain't they fault that they make certain life mistakes, but yeah. you know, it just helped me to realize like, oh shit, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really one of them ones, and I appreciate that. <laughs> For sure. So, man, yeah. I get your flowers. <laughs> thank, you, thank you for helping me and shit. You know what I'm saying? So hold on, without without that breakup, you, you would you like it would it would have helped you, you know what I'm saying, see how you really are and what type of nigga you really is, because you said that breakup really showed who you are. So uh, if, you would, if that shit would never happen, how would you be right now? You still be fucked up or uh uh a fucked up person? No, I mean, okay, so <laughs> I won't say I was fucked up, you know what I'm saying, but it just it just I tend to I tend to lose myself mm-hmm. when you know what I'm saying. And I don't want to say all the way, but I, I I care and I pour into a person, and I I realize I didn't require the same shit, mm-hmm. so I had to shut down a lot of shit that I love. For comedy sure. being one, yeah. You know what I'm saying. And, uh, once I realized that, uh, it was like shit. No, nah, this ain't what I want to do. For sure, I want to be you know happy and on the journey I got. So yeah. That's how it played out. Yeah. So I won't say I would be fucked up as an individual. <laughs> yeah, I sure. just wouldn't have seen the shit. potential. Yeah, but that, but uh, sometimes a relationship will hinder like the shit that you got going on. You doing music, you you writing and stuff like that. You with your your comedy, like sometimes the wrong person will fuck up your whole your whole thought process and shit. Like they, yeah, you know, what I'm saying hold you back. Whole shit, they will. Sure. 
Like, have you ever had that situation where somebody was holding you back from your shit, dog? You you might not notice it during the time, but afterwards, like, damn, like she held up a year of my motherfucking life, bro. Like the the weird part with me and the the, <laughs> the way God set my life up, my life been like that all throughout it, from teenage to early twenties. You know, I was in a, in a, in a long term relationship. Mm. And shit was always holding me back every yeah. step of the way. But, yeah. but like me personally, none can really like stop me, bro. Like I wanted them people who just like must do that shit. It can't even stop me at all. I don't know what it is about me, bro. Sure. God made me like a rock, you know, like because even with doing this movie, the shit I was going through, like nobody would believe the backstory of the shit I was going through to even make the movie. Mm-hmm. You know, from people falling off from <clears throat> investing and. I had to take and do all the shit myself, you know what I'm saying, money wise. Yeah. Which I do that with every movie, but I just felt with this one like this is a special one. I'm getting all these niggas. Yeah. I want to get somebody to come in and help me out. Niggas ain't want to even. They came yeah, in and then sure. they fell off at the at the tail end, which it was cool. You know what I'm saying? No, for it, sure. Hell yeah. yeah. Working out. Hey man, when you do part two, if you need a third number three, man, let me know. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> like hey, thug at the bus stop, nigga. Oh, nigga, nigga, don't know, like, go, <laughs> nigga don't know it's gonna be uh, on some social platform, so they're gonna be like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, look at the dog. <laughs> dog. He, he live over there too. Oh, look. Like, no. <laughs> so, hell yeah. Now y'all saying y'all when you go through a lot. What do y'all do like to get through those hard times, bro? When shit, when life get the motherfucking real life and on your ass and shit get to getting hard. Like, what you do to go ahead and clear your mind and, and get through that shit? What you do? I do shrooms. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see, I get fucked up. Well, uh. In the physical, man, I, I really sit and meditate on the things in my life that's important so sure. I can so I can get my balance back yeah. and come back to reality. Mm-hmm. But once I, I had, a, had that moment, mm. I'll try and elevate my mind to the point where it takes me to a place where, where I understand that mm. whatever it is I'm going through that got me off my square, I know it got a purpose behind it. For sure. So that helped me to kind of stay focused and deal with whatever it is because at the end of the day, life, life for everybody. Yeah, you know what I'm fast, saying? It's fast. just your turn. So yeah. how you deal with it is what builds your character. Hell yeah. What so, about you say? You, you said shrooms help you out, huh? Shrooms. Yeah. Cause <laughs> human beings, bro, you know, they, most people don't, talk to you with a genuine pureness for you to really get an understanding because you can be going through some shit and you can be the problem and they won't let you know that like you know you're you're an issue right now mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and i'm just genuine bro that's why shroom i go to shrooms because shrooms take me inside myself mm-hmm. to where you got to deal with that shit yeah. regardless of what it is you yeah. you have to face this shit and nobody can talk you in or out of it this is straight up self mm-hmm. you and that you know what i mean i heard when you do that shit though if you like going through some some some, some fucked up shit like they made the trip like terrible, mm. man. That's what I I, heard. I've had the most. You gotta think. I I, I do it in a ritualistic way. Like mm. well, I fast for two days. I'll be in a dark room when I do it. Mm. I do it like our ancestors did it for us to be consciously where we at now. Yeah. Human beings wouldn't be as smart as they are right now if it wasn't for mushrooms. But they're not gonna tell you that throughout history yeah. that we was walking around looking for food, shit that was edible, and we found certain shit and it enhanced the mind. Oh, we know that plant does that. It's same thing with medicine. We mm. was going through looking for plants. All this shit. What the fuck? Aloe vera. You yeah, get what I'm saying? For sure. It was the same thing with, with food. So we we found that magic mushrooms was yeah. shit that enhances the mind. Yeah. I, I wrote a movie, bro, after I did my first trip. I wrote my hitters, the first movie. Yeah. Came out of it two days. How quick you wrote that shit? <laughs> the mushroom had you out <laughs> right, boy. Maybe. Y'all are trying to test the mushrooms like, out. Like, oh, no. I, I always thought about it. I'm too scared. I ain't even. Nah, hours. It's in, okay. like two days. Okay, okay. So you dog right here, yeah. You 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 singing, got the intellect, you all in these motherfucking hoes with that. I make all, <laughs> <laughs> like, I, make, I make all the beats too. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, this nigga boosting up his resume. No, I'm saying when you hear the songs, I made the beat. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah. To touch on that uh shroom issue, we got like I I've done them before, mm-hmm. I'll say a couple times. Uh and I'm more so enlightened by them as well i've I've never had a bad trip the worst the the bad part that i had was it showed me it took me to a place to help to it took me to a place to show me what type of flaws i carry and Mm -hmm. why i carry those flaws and why i carry like uh the different type of emotions and sensitivities i have and this just and that but it all made sense and i was helped i was able to bring it back to mm-hmm. my reality and sure. utilize that so it got his give and takes but 
you absolutely right. Mm. You don't want to take them if you ain't feeling like no, you're ready. You, you do want to take them. <laughs> no, you don't. No, no, you don't. Now, bro. listen, I'm telling you. What, what it does for you, bro, uh, from a mental standpoint, because what they do, they get into your brain. That's what shrooms do. They're going and creeping into the back of your skull to get into your neurons. Mm. If your neurons are firing off right, these motherfuckers go inside them bitches and fire them off right and send the signals into the right ones. Like, no, you send a signal over there. That's why you're thinking fucked up. This signal is supposed to go over here so you can tie your shoe the right goddamn way. Yeah, you no, know, yeah, th- yeah. this is what it do, bro. Yeah. I did so much. I did 26 grams at one time, bro. At one God time. Damn. So God damn. I understood what the fuck I was doing. Bro. Crazy, I was, I'm like, damn, these they're alien plants. They're not from this planet. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which I know they don't want us to enhance like that because you know they don't want us all that smart. But I ain't on no revolutionary shit. It's just more so that sure. your kids understand who they is. If you understand who you are, mm-hmm. you gonna move with value. For sure. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They said 26 grams. That bitch crazy yeah. on the strong. I see it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I went there, bro. I know. <laughs> And it sound like uh, in a couple of years when he make it big, he gonna be at somebody's trap house selling his car like they were. <laughs> 26 grams is very excessive. <laughs> no. I've done two, and two, and it took me exactly where I need to go. Now, you had mentioned yeah, when you exactly did your shit, you, you, you realized the sensitivity shit. When the last time y'all cried, man, what was the reason? Oh, uh, shit. Are y'all two thuggers to say? I'm about to, I'm about to uh, cancel this live. <laughs> <laughs> I cried four days ago, nigga. I cried. I ain't gonna lie. What was the reason, though? Shit, I don't even Trums? know. I, some, no. <laughs> sometimes sometimes <laughs> I just sit in my, my car and I think about my ancestors. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I be on some weird shit sometimes. I think the shrooms then got me to that point because I talked to them, yeah. my ancestors. Yeah. So I just sit in the car and be like, I'm doing this shit for y'all. Yeah. More so. So I cry sometimes. It's on some weird shit. Though. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Shit. We all cry with some crazy shit. I, what, what about you? I, you? I feel that. Uh, it, my shit ain't that deep. But, you know, <laughs> it's a deep brother right here. I ain't crying for the ancestors. I fuck with the ancestors, but, <laughs> you know, it's, it's joyous. <laughs> like, <laughs> I cry because a terrible shit happened to me now. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying, man? I, I, I'm I tapped in and I'm masculine enough to say, yeah, I cry, bro, because it's the emotion that you have to get out. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't made for nothing. But are you asked for the reason what was to? The last, the last time you cried, what was the reason for that? Uh, uh, it, it, wasn't too, it wasn't too long ago. And yeah. it was only because uh, the shit I was going through mm. I, I finally had clarity on it. For sure. And it was more of a like in the shower, a relief. Like, yeah. let me get this shit out. Cause after I hop out this shower and it gets back to, yeah, for sure, for you sure. know, put my cape on. Yeah, that's but, what, in the shower, you can get that. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you know, that's <laughs> what <laughs> niggas do. They let it out and let's keep it pushing. But yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was, that's what it was. For sure, for sure, for sure. Man, I, I know y'all got a lot of shit going on, but just talk about this year, man. What was, What's some shit, y'all? You know, good things, bad things. You know, what I'm saying talk about twenty twenty three and what did y'all go into a year like trying to achieve? I went into uh, the beginning of this year more so, like I wanted to do unprecedented shit that ain't never been done. Mm. So it was like th- this is my first comedy, Uncle Roommate. You mm. know what I mean? My my first two movies was violent. You know, drama. <laughs> my head is one and two, and then uh, I did a musical called The Noise and Music. That was the last movie. Mm. So I was like, I wanted to be different this year, like, and I know comedy is something that we need so much, bro. So you know, that's why I'm glad I met this nigga and shit. To uh, I don't even know where the fuck I met you. <laughs> no, what type of nigga is that, bro? <laughs> I, say, I met this nigga. Uh, our friendship foundation fucked up. I, now I had to think about this shit. Like, damn, like, oh no, I met. Uh, you want me to tell you? Jay Will? Jay Will had uh, brought you on that show. We had, I, remember I had booked Jay Will for the show. I'm gonna bring my man D Pounds on it. I'm gonna yeah, be like, yeah, 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 and you know. No homo, but boy hopped on in like, oh, you sweet, bro. I'm on the fucking. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm really good, man. I'm straight. It's like, yeah, no. sure. shout out to Jay Will. I bet reach DM because. <laughs> <laughs> you... Yeah, it was good. Yeah, but you say, uh, what were you were talking about how you met Doug and shit, talking about your year and shit. Yeah, uh, I met this nigga when I did I did a comedy special with him and a um, few other comedians, mm-hmm. and he was dope, man. And I and I was like, well, shit, I, I got to do that comedy before this year out comedy and a superhero movie mm-hmm. so i got you know i'll come into the year with agendas when it comes to film and I, I i usually do one film every two years mm-hmm. so with this year i'm doing a few of them motherfuckers before the year is out so talk about this superhero <laughs> movie though dog can we talk about how D- when detroit you get the same typical movies but you talking about doing a superhero movie what's that what's that about if you can give any insight on it oh it, it's definitely copywritten and through the writers guild and all that so i could definitely talk about it. it's called gravel it's mm-hmm. uh 
It's about a young dude from the inner city of Detroit because mm-hmm. it's going to take place here. Mm-hmm. And he ended up uh, <coughs> having some, uh, some some distressful shit happen at a young age to where he uh, <coughs> going to hiatus of like alcoholism and then you kind of see his triumph in time and then you see how he gets his powers. It's like an origin story. For sure. So it's similar to like Spider-Man's and all that shit, but urban mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? For sure. hell yeah we need that shit something different man that's totally different because ain't and nobody Sh- doing that shit and shrooms play a, a, a key in the, in the movie <laughs> for sure I bet. no because you know because shrooms shrooms you know mycelium and shrooms that communicate yeah. so like me niggas who do big doses of shrooms they be able to know who you like bro you we connect mm-hmm. almost in a sense yeah it's just like plants they connect through the through the soil Mm-hmm. Same shit. Hell so yeah. you would see how the nigga got his powers and how it for came sure. And all that that sounds dope. Shit. Hell yeah. Hell this yeah. nigga pushing that shroom, that shrooms uh narrative. No, because <laughs> in the movie, the nigga's alcoholic, and he they sent him to his brother uh, is a scientist for the government. For sure. So he sent him to one of his homeboys' rehab center. His rehab center is through the government. Yeah. And they use psilocybin to cure niggas of alcoholism. Man. Okay. Cigarettes and all type of shit. Hell yeah. Shit, when I need to know something, I need to hit this nigga about Mass Pain, dog. He's gonna teach you some shit real oh, quick, God. dog. Oh, God. All right, I mean, what about you, uh, D Pounds, man? What, what was this year like for you and shit, man? Uh, this year, man, it was so it's crazy, and I'm gonna just put an analogy on it. Uh, I remember I, I one day earlier this year, I, I told myself, I'm gonna take, <coughs> take a big risk this year. Mm. So I can get a big reward at some point. I, I never been that type of guy. I never gambled or anything. Mm-hmm. And in my head, I'm thinking like shit. Yo, pass that shit. Yeah. When I thought about it, I didn't. I, I'm thinking like shit. What, like nigga, you thinking about put ten thousand on the Pistons against Denver the first game of the season? <laughs> oh, the odds is two to a million. Oh, uh, they might pull it off. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking What's in up? my head. Oh, yeah. But as my year progressed, I was going through the shit. You know separation and divorce like you know mm-hmm. was, and it was just like it played out in my head like baby this is the the big risk you're taking because um the reason it was going because it was it was me trying to reclaim myself and my identity For in sure. that situation and still be able to uh be what i needed to be to that situation and it didn't work that way and mm-hmm. it's cool but me not knowing when I first asked what would be mm. the big risk, mm. and it was kind of instant type of thing because he called me for the for a movie role, and mm. the original movie role, this guy had me like saying three lines, and the nigga <laughs> wanted me to drive fifty four minutes away no. just to do a, a script reading. That yeah. wasn't so. But you know what? I was actually doing a play where I was an actual Uncle Norman, one of my characters on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And I, I said, I'm going to drive out there because it was only 44 minutes yeah. where I was at. <laughs> it's real shit. Because oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, at least I got my dedication. And I knew, man, how the universe and the creator work with me. Like, if he, I've always been able to just put take that first step and he'll show me the next two for sure and he'll make it so i'm like all right just go do it show him you're dedicated long story short i walk in there's nobody else there and i'm like you know max what, what's going on blah, he's he like man motherfuckers, blah, he's bleak. but the head the the main star who mm-hmm. he had already cast and everything i guess he was on bullshit yeah for sure and he just like damn you know what deep on try and read this bro i, I kind of can feel you doing it and mm-hmm. I fucking around and read the first line and it was a oh, rap from there. Yeah. And when I say this one of them ones that's going to change niggas' lives, like, what's man, that? that? the perfect so, shady ass uncle. It was, it was that <laughs> risk. That nigga was perfect, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I see you. You look like my Uncle Jerome. <laughs> yeah. no. Uncle Lee Run. Yeah. 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 So it just be shit like that that I try and stay in tune with For and, sure. and appreciate yeah. instead of the, you know. Because if you didn't make that drive, nigga, nigga, shit wouldn't. Shit. Exactly, yeah, you know we had the opportunity so, and shit. That was the ups and downs, pretty mm-hmm. much. And since then, man, like I said, comedy, stand up, been going crazy. I've been yeah. making a lot of moves with that networking, and for sure. Like said, movie. What what's some shit y'all feel like y'all need to still work on that might be holding y'all back from getting to that next level? Because we already talk about the good shit that's going on, but what's some shit that you got to look yourself in the mirror like, damn, I need to really work on this. I really need to fix this so I can take off and shit. I mean, I think for myself, it's a it's a point that I just hit because me and D Pounds just, but we both went through like personal shit within our personal lives and shit. Mm-hmm. 
And what that shit do is it hit this switch within you. Because for a long time, when you just going and you coasting, you don't really understand that you're really that nigga. Mm-hmm. But then when people do fuck shit to you, you got to really look at yourself and go within yourself. Mm-hmm. Because you really be like tied to other motherfuckers putting your energy with them and seeing like, okay, how are, how are we? Yeah. Opposed to you looking at yourself now. now sure. We looking at ourselves now, nigga, like we the power. Mm-hmm. It ain't never been nobody else. This nigga kind of talking angrily about it. I ain't, I ain't mad as him. I appreciate I my mad. lessons. This nigga like, man, you doing fuck shit. Yeah, like, fuck niggas. I appreciate yeah. niggas making mistakes in my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I still love them, but you know, this nigga is I appreciate it. Hey, I'm that bitch to buy. A little bit of syndrome. So right. when y'all see this nigga hop out of this bar stool, y'all gonna see why. <laughs> this hey, nigga that nigga is very say, complex. You see how I realize you bitch ass niggas. <laughs> I'm that nigga, man. I'm that nigga. I woke up understanding that. But uh, you done? No, I ain't. No, right. go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, like just to line up what he said, man. Like, uh, <laughs> it, it, I don't look at it in the same sense. Like I said, I, I take my life lessons for what they are, and I appreciate people for moving the way they do, making mistakes. And I give people grace mm-hmm. for those mistakes, even you know, relationship wise, whatever. However, we feel about motherfuckers fucking us over or whatever, and putting. Us, I just learned that I accept it because I accept that God didn't build you the same way He built me, yeah. and I wouldn't have did no fuck shit that mm-hmm. you did to me. But I, I, I accept you different, yeah, for sure. And that's what helped me to have peace with it. And that's the problem. A lot of niggas look. at Look at others like, all right, I'm doing this. You should be doing this. Like, I was talking to my cousin about that shit. He do a lot for niggas. He be expecting the same, but everybody ain't built like you. No, er- you feel everybody, me? everybody ain't going to sit here and think like you, care like you. So you can't, you expect that shit for everybody, then you going to have a fucked up life. Mm-hmm. And then you can't do nothing with expectancy what they're supposed to do this for me in return anyway. Mm-hmm. That ain't how God do, because we, God give us a lot of shit and we don't do exactly what. <laughs> no, <laughs> for to, sure. Fast. Need to be done, you know. Yeah. And, and, and in that sense, he give us a lot of shit and we end up not doing what we're supposed to. And that's a lot of times why we go through the shit we go through, you know, because it don't always be on the other person. Now you said, what, that's why you can't really be upset about women in a relationship or whatever, family members, whatever it is. Because at some point you've done something to have to go through that type of karma. But you got to understand where you're leading to the treasure. You know what I'm saying? So if you look at it in that site mm-hmm. and just understand and accept people, it, it for me it, it helped me. It helped helped me to carry for sure as far as I went and to understand that I still got shit I got to work on too. And sure. you know a nigga doing the work. So hell yeah, that's all you can do is do the work. These some deep ass brothers, cuz <laughs> I fuck with y'all though. Appreciate now it. if we um if you had to explain yourself and give a Explain yourself to somebody, tell them about yourself, but only use an album or a song. What would it be? Your introduction to the world using an album or a song. That's lit. I feel like my nigga Max Payne gonna try and use one of his joints. Uh, to put a little <laughs> Earth, I'm gonna say Earth Wind and Fire. Oh yeah. shit, a dog came classic. Oh, yeah. you gotta you gotta answer that. Yeah, talk about That's it. What I don't even know the fucking name of the song. Damn, yeah. you gotta you gotta give a song. But um, <laughs> this nigga R and B. No, that song is I play it when I feel away, mm-hmm. and that shit it turned my energy up, bro. I don't know what it is about Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah, but all that music just got this certain energy. Mm-hmm. And when, once I came up that shit, I can understand the type of music I made, mm-hmm. other music that I'm listening to, the energy that it give me. Like, hold on, this shit making me want to bust a nigga head. What's up? <laughs> for sure. For no, sure. I'm just saying music no, can give sure. you that energy. It will. You're like. That's why Earth went in fire. I'm like, man, them niggas was on some shit. If you listen to the words, they oh, yeah. Bro, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Them niggas was yeah. on some shit. And he came classy. Yeah. Earth went in fire this motherfucker. I'm, like, I'm going to listen to that shit on the way home. Yeah. <laughs> For yeah, real, that's that's some Earth win. That's <clears throat> What about you, D Pounds? What's the song uh, or album that, you know, saying your, your introduction to the real? Like, this is me. Uh, um, Pretty much. Um. First of all, man, I want I want to say shout out, man, to this 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 platform, man. They lit, man. This shit fun as hell. Niggas super cool down to earth, man. Sure, like it, man. that that's off off bail. So I thought you, you know. about to say sir mix a lot. I no, no, man. 
Uh, no, what'd you come? Anaconda? Oh, that's, that's Nicki oh, come Minaj. on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> we got a movie coming out called Uncle Roommate. No, Me and we share a room like, together. And, and you come in you Anaconda? <laughs> song for me? That's the word. Man, I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping my boy Chad go ahead and edit that no, part bro, out, bro. No, bro, the word. Yeah, but why would, why would, why would be the song, why would that be the song you think about when it comes? I thought you were remember how that video was like, that was like the, the show all video compared to now, hey, that wasn't shit. That's PG. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was yeah. back then. That was because Nikki had some wild shit. But anyway, uh, back to the <laughs> oh, question. Was and, and, and fuck with Freaky Man talking about. Uh, <laughs> uh, for me, man, I would say I would have to go a- a- album wise, and I don't know. It might sound cliche, and I know it ain't like, blah, blah, but I'm gonna go with the blueprint. Okay, Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? Because to me. It just always was like considered in my like the, a God album. Like he's stepping into a different type of zone mm-hmm. or realm from beginning to end. If you actually listen to it, that's my favorite J. And yeah, and it really for me it just resonated in my life. Whatever type of issue I was going through, I can literally go to that album, mm-hmm. and at some point, it a something to resonate like you know if it was a relationship type of issue and i don't want to keep going but song cry it was really mm-hmm. like nigga i fucked up but you yeah. don't do you don't get a nigga yeah, back, back like that, that. like yeah, that's yeah, real yeah, shit you sure. know what i'm saying i took my for shit sure. but bitch you wasn't fucked up <laughs> but then even with like other shit like with the movie shit and doing your grind is like he has shit like i don't give a fuck nigga because i will not lose like yeah, that sure. type yeah. of shit Hell yeah. Would kind of gear me into the motivational stage where I need to go. So that's yeah, always been my go to. That was my favorite shit right there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, y'all come up with some good ass answers and shit, man. Shit, I'm, yeah. I got a lot of clips I can clip out, put on the motherfucker. <laughs> <shit. laughs> <laughs> now, uh, what's something that you wanted to be that you never told nobody? Oh, shit. Like growing up, I wanted to be a tap dancer. Damn, Damn, okay, yeah. that's that's I mean, a little, I little was different. watching Gregory Hines Gregory and shit. Hines was cool. but, Motherfucking but, um, uh, 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 Glover. Yeah, Savion yeah, Glover, yeah, yeah. and I watching tap and shit. When I'm gonna got my little church shoes and going to, in the kitchen, and yeah, trying yeah. to tap and shit, bro. I, I can see that though. I fuck with the tribe called Quest. I, I see his vibe, man. He got that pure, that pure energy vibe. <laughs> sure, so yeah, I want to tap that, my, I want to tap that. Yeah, I don't that's think my mom could afford that shit. Okay, okay. That, okay. That's how I'm <laughs> tap what, what, what about doggy? You, you want to go next? What did I want to be, bro? I was on some weird shit. I wanted to be like a NASA fucking. Pilot or some shit. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's what you. It was. You ain't got no reason for that bullshit. Was, and, you, and you grew. And you grew up on Linwood. I always or? wanted to go to space. That's probably why when I got older, I did all the shrooms. And See, I you know what I'm saying, bro? This nigga is pushing that shroom <laughs> there, bro. Bro, let bro. me find out you got some uh little forex cheese in these shrooms. <laughs> this nigga bullshit, bro. That's where you don't put our little movie check to. You don't know if that's our shit. And they got the little. Come on, cuz. Yeah, I'm preaching uh, that. I fuck with it, dog. Um, go on there. For, for me, just don't what, visit the motherfucker. What was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> I think I forgot the question. Some shit that you wanted to be that you never told me about. Got it, bro. Blow. Oh, uh. Chef, no, nah, I mean, okay, so real shit, you know. I can see his little chef hat on and shit. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like, oh, and shit, dog. <laughs> and that bitch chefing it up, cooking the shit out of shit. Nah, uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, of course, man, I done mature, so I got better ideas now, but just being real, man, you know, I I, I was uh sheltered as, as a child growing up, you know, sure. so nigga like me, I ain't really, I ain't get to lose my opportunity to. I was. 18 going on 19. So, you know, but I was close. I was 17. Living before that, nigga, I, I just wanted to be a porn star, bro. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, like, man, unlimited pussy and you get Duh. paid for it. Like, Duh. damn. <laughs> but my parents don't understand. Like, y'all fucked me up. Y'all got me doing this uh, rice of passage in church and shit. Talking what, about I'm married to Jesus. Bro, what, what be your porn name? Oh, oh, come on, cuz. All right, give me, oh. right now, everybody give y'all porn names, though. D 1000. <laughs> Pound time. <laughs> I gotta throw my name in there. Lucky D Pounds is the motherfucking porn name. Yeah, D Pound D gonna take you to Pound Time. <laughs> hey, I was I was, I was, I was listening to Charlemagne dog and the British idiots, and he was saying like how if you put um on the Avengers and shit, dog, you put their names before Dick, like Captain Dick. What? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, spider super like he was just saying like it was it was just a yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, sure, man, <laughs> off top, I don't know. Sure, is, is Charlemagne a little uh, 
I get I fuck with Charlemagne on the mental level and he 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 really like you 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 think you got some sugar or something. Yeah, I don't think so, though. He just, they just, I, I mean, I just, get it. I think they, just, they play around like that, yeah. Bro. But I think it's more than play because I think they really more so like I, I won't say they that <laughs> like that, but I think they just the no. type of men that's in hey, tune with they no, self so sure. much. They because they had my man, they had my man inside. for a while now, uncomfortable as hell, dog. He like, yeah. the incredible dick, <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes it'd be a little too much because yeah, sure. I, I'm I, I, fuck I fuck with you. No, I fuck with, I fuck with, I just think they'd be on that playful shit, him and Envy and all them niggas, dog. Bro. Shout out to the Breakfast Club, man. Y'all need to go ahead. Call my nigga Shad versus everybody, man. Hell Follow yeah, him on man. Instagram. Hell yeah, man. Come on the show, man. Matter of <laughs> fact, fuck coming on the show. Sign me to y'all motherfucking black effect, dog. Ah. So you say you want to be a porn star? You want to be an astronaut in this bitch? No, that's, two, <laughs> that's two different types. What we y'all, bro? How we, how we, how we be coming crazy, up for? <laughs> duh. Now, you kind of mentioned him being from the West Side, but just talk about growing up and for, for y'all, who was in the crib and, and you know, where y'all stay at and shit like that, man. Well, I'm a deck. I'm a Dexter, Dexter nigga. Damn, mm-hmm. Dexter and Linwood <laughs> area <laughs> uh, for sure. Westside Cubs. All my whole, you know, my whole life, I was, you know, a football star and shit. Was they cheating and shit like everybody be saying? It was never cheating, man. Shit, you know, <laughs> it, it's so weird, bro. But you know, I what I noticed when I started winning in life that people would look at me like I'm a cheat code and I'm cheating in some kind of way. So mm-hmm. I noticed that when people do great shit, yeah. they're gonna say you cheating because most of the niggas who I played with on the team mm. we all went from c to b to a we all was on the same school we all was in the same grade yeah. so when people would say oh we they cheating this nigga on 18 no this nigga go to durfee with the rest of the, <laughs> <laughs> the, rest of the like you, so no why why that has been a theme for years and nobody's came like hell yeah i see <laughs> look we got the tape this nigga was 18 he grew up with my little brother why is it no proof to a, a lifelong fucking legend like Hey, don't that make sense? Yeah, as, soon as, I see, as soon as I hear what's our cubs, I just think about that shit, dog. Yeah, they don't like that we won all them fucking championships, bro. It showed me how to be the winner in life and play with niggas who, who can go to any other team and help them win. For sure. For but they sure. wanted to be all, you, you got to take a piece of yourself away. And this is what niggas have to grasp when it comes to being successful in life and being in a movie. And it ain't no individual shit like being an artist because that's some individual shit. Yeah. You have to take a piece of you away for the whole collective to win yeah because you can't just feel like now if you got to be lebron you got to be lebron you know what i'm saying but you might have to dish because lebron to dish that bitch too for sure to for make sure. sure the team win you know what i'm yeah. saying hey, well, some hey, snacks, hey, hey he got levels and shit. he be like you know i was yeah. in that bitch motherfucker. i was <laughs> he talking small i was that motherfucker. <laughs> <For real. laughs> so you say uh, you grew up on west side who's in the crib though you know what I'm saying who's in the crib and shit? paint that picture i grew up with my god my my grand my grandfather you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying um my grandfather my a mini my mom kind of sent me there because i was good in sports so okay they they was like you got to stay over here because the cubs field was like right on the corner for sure we stayed sure. so your sure. pops wasn't around or... nah my pops he was like you know in and out the nigga did like eight years in jail then he got sure. out when i was like maybe 10. yeah you know what i'm saying my daddy you know i learned shit from him as mm-hmm. far as street shit common sense shit but mm-hmm. you know he wasn't yeah he's still around y'all got a relationship now yeah, yeah, he uh he'd be drunk as hell. Maybe <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> be drunk as hell. Yeah, yeah, That's my yeah. nigga though. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a real bro. Like I ain't one of them niggas gonna sugarcoat it. My daddy, he fuck with that drink. You know what yeah, I'm saying? For sure. For but he sure. cool. He cool as hell. Cause when he's sober, he a whole nother nigga. You, yeah. know, you ever met them type of people? Yeah, hell yeah. They be like when they drunk, they like them niggas. You be like, man, they, all right, I'll see you later. Yeah. When you he's sober, you be like, this nigga can build a pool. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, he puts pools in and builds sure. pools. This nigga's crazy. <laughs> for sure, for sure. You got people like that, you don't want to fuck with unless they high. <laughs> sure. You got people you don't even fuck with, like, dog, he ain't cool, he ain't high. Yeah, nigga, he ain't cool, he drunk, nigga. No, nah. my daddy type, he going, like, we walk into the store, right? This is some crazy shit, bro. This really happened. We walk into the store, and it's a gang of niggas. It's just me and him. Fuck you niggas looking at. What? He that, that type wild, of nigga, bro. bro. Fuck y'all niggas looking at. Y'all almost don't know who, who I'm with. Yeah. Who I'm with? <laughs> <laughs> he be talking about you? Oh, come on, bro. What you be having on still? T- hey, come on. on, bro. You see how he was acting at the comedy show? You was oh, there. Oh, no. Remember he was I yelling. don't remember. Is, he was, that, is that your he daddy? Was, he was yelling. Remember, oh, I would have been cut time. I would have been cut time with you look, if I knew that was your daddy. They bro. will. They will on the mic. He talking about some, all right, I'm, he talking about some, y'all better quit talking about Max Daddy because I'm going to have my son take you off this DVD. No, that's <laughs> what? Hell, you though. remember he said that? 
He look up to you? Cuz, come on. You talking about you don't see who I'm with. Is you taller than that nigga? You got a couple inches? That's crazy, bro. He gonna get both of y'all little niggas fucked up. That's what I'm saying. He that's crazy. Right, off he, he off of that, that drink, though. He didn't mention a lot, dog, about, you know what I'm saying, calling you short and shit. But that's some shit like, you know, you have that short man complex. Like, niggas who, like, mad all the time. Cause, you know, I'm, I'm a short dude, too. Bro, I never ever, like, you know how niggas be having that short man. I never had a short man complex. Okay, you just accepted that. Only yeah, reason is, you gotta be like, Untalented, yeah. yeah he, he a real nigga, bro. We talk to sure. shit, but he don't, he don't, yeah. Like, because I he could jump to that. Yeah. I could, you know, I was all city, all state football player. You know what okay, what well, high school you went to? Cody, okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm Cause, saying? Yeah, because short niggas, and, 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 and short niggas always lie about their height, too. Like, cause my, my uh, wife, dad, five, five, nigga, always say five, eight. Like, cause, damn, uh, <laughs> damn, <laughs> like, you in soft, yeah. that shit up, nigga. Oh, he's a habitual liar. It's like, no. What about you, bro? Like, where you, where you grew up at, man? Uh, crib and shit, man. Talk about it. So, uh, you know, man, I don't know. When I get high, man, I feel like my shit always got to be deep. But I ain't going to take it deep. <laughs> but <laughs> a little bit. So, no, nah, man, uh, I really, growing up, man, had, had like the best of both worlds in the sense. Like, you know, growing up with my um OG, like my real mom, you mm -hmm. know, rest her heart. So, sure. but, um. We was fucked up, bro. Like poor, like no running water, no like nigga. Fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. then I would get to go to my dad's house on the weekend and him and my stepmom, you know, who my, that's my baby. I love her. But she they they worked at the plant. So it was hold, like hold, night day. Let me pause you real quick. Was you kind of like like dog? Why the fuck, dad, you gonna leave us like like this and we struggling? You over here living like the brave bunch? Uh, you know what? <laughs> no, y'all look uh, like like Fred. And, and you know, people my like my like my therapist. <laughs> my therapist did ask me about that issue, but uh, my OG man, like my 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 dad, man, he was he was just a cool laid back nigga. Like he 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 went to work and he came outside and hooped yeah. with us. Yeah, for sure. Instead of like you know, not like fuck your mama, but I ain't about to be in there dealing with them bills. They yeah. go to check. I'm about to go fuck with my 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 boy. So sure, it sure. was it was like that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But uh yeah, it was like night and day. So I kind of appreciate I was able to see both sides and and give and take what I because I appreciate shit from having that fucked up childhood. Mm -hmm. All sisters, you know what I'm saying? Six of then being able to at least have a grasp of that, you know, good sure. life up until you know I actually moved with them. So um growing up was lit man so i was kind of sheltered mm -hmm. the second part of my life after after uh, 11 years old and i moved my dad and we grew up on east warren like you oh, know oh shit then hell yeah you yeah, from that good that good yeah, shit man. yeah cool. like shout east warren. Shit, man. yeah i know it's fucked up over there now you know shout out to my niggas who you know keep a nigga safe protect me i still claim y'all yeah. but i don't fuck with y'all oh no yeah i don't go i mean no i love my niggas from all over my hood but uh yeah, East Warren Shout got one Ray, of them Ray names Phil, right Ray now. Phil Barbershop and but shit, see, right? I, I grew up right across the street from Finney High School back oh, then. So it was, it was yeah, yeah, it was, you know, up the street yeah, from Gross yeah. Point. So a nigga was really kind of sheltered. Yeah, it's, it's like dangerous and then good. Like, yeah, right? <laughs> like you, you had your dangerous little badass boys who would throw rocks at For the bus, sure. but they ain't, about to, they ain't about to slide on no niggas like these Dexter niggas. Yeah, so, you know. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate like, you like, you like, so it was straight. My mom used to order my outfits out of the JCPenney catalog. Like, niggas wouldn't get mad. Like, I was kind of. All right, give me give me a, 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 a fucked up poor story when you was like, damn, we posed for it right now. Damn. Oh, me? Oh, yeah. I, I And this real shit. I mean, man, all three of us probably posed and shit. It, one, oh, post. Well, see, yeah, oh. I mean, I get it. But, um, <laughs> and this ain't like, I don't do this shit for no sympathy, no pity party, because I, I deal with mine. But real shit, man, I remember, like, this was a daily thing. Seven years old, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, we lived in a big-ass house down the street from Bell Isle. Them bitches big. Mm -hmm. But we was squatting. I didn't know what the fuck that was, but sure. no run of water. I'm talking about nigga. Our basement was flooded, like not like one feet foot, like nigga, like maybe four or five feet. So yeah. seven years, seven years old. Swear to God, I would have to come home from school, and my mom would tell me go get that water. So nigga, going in the dark ass basement at seven, and nigga, only I can't see shit, but only where I know I'm at the where the water level is, the water hit my foot. And nigga, I hold on to the banister and then I scoop the bucket of water like a five gallon, take it upstairs. And this how it was fucked up. Like grown men and women, like we had uncles and they girlfriends living with us. But they done shit it and pissed all day in the toilet. And they just waited for me to get home and pour the water to flush the toilet. I swear to God, this is real oh. shit. But I only say that to say like, 
the good and the bad. Like yeah. I appreciate shit. You yeah, know I'm, what I'm, I'm saying? Gonna take, I'm gonna take my post story in. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's real that's shit, that's but right yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but I get it, man. My my, my, my OG, like I said, love her to death, rest her soul. No, but no, she's she a made product happy, of her environment of yeah. not having. So it was what it was, man, nigga. You know, but yeah, that was that's shit, yeah. and that that's just kind of like. Yeah, well, niggas, niggas chilling the crib. But I, I, I still got, I, I still, I still got bitches, dog. Like, <laughs> nigga, shit, like, hey, 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 pounds, go uh, downstairs, <laughs> get some water, nigga, flush this fucking toilet right now. Shit. <laughs> you too, <laughs> you too, <laughs> get up for a shit break. <laughs> Get your ass up in shit break. <laughs> I'm talking to y'all imagine a house full of grown motherfuckers. Nobody drink water. They just drink Canadian whiskey all fucking day, bro. Get up here, shit break. Hey, I got another I got another one that's kind of funny, man, but I'm gonna let y'all get off, bro. Y- y'all niggas remember food stamps, man? Like my mama, you know, she she was a drinker, her boyfriend, my uncle. But food stamp nigga, she her food stamp, she used to get them. And nigga take all her kids, it was six of us, me and all my sisters, yeah. and give everybody a food stamp and go in the store, buy one thing for a quarter, get that change. bring it back to her and give her the change yeah, and then sure. get another food stamp and do it again. And we yeah. got to do this like six times a piece so she can get enough to get her a drink. Yeah. This was her shit. Man. So. So it, but, like, like looking at that, do you do you drink or did that kind of like keep you away from drinking? Because sometimes uh, when you see that shit, like I ain't never drink. But. No, no. I, I did try. I had a spell and not nigga. Yeah. Fucked up, drunk some pinnacle, and nigga. Oh shit! And, <laughs> ended up in the alley with my jewelry and yeah, you know. This nigga said but pinnacle, dog. I grew. I I, I started reflecting, and uh, I realized, like, damn, I didn't even realize, but I think I was thirty thirty eight at the time, and yeah. I realized, like, damn, my my mom died when she was thirty six from alcoholism yeah. and cirrhosis yeah. of the liver. So, oh shit! I I, piece, I, piece, I, ne- I, I never was a drinker. I would take, but I don't even. Yeah. Like, dog, uh, that's. That would probably go down in history as one of the poorest. God ah, damn, man. cuz. <laughs> Hold on, cuz. We can scrap, cuz. I know we in your hood, but it's like, no. <laughs> that thing had to learn how to smell. Oh, no, I, oh, no, I ain't fucking with it. I forgot he got up. Uh, yeah, shout out to the oh. produ- production. Uh, you know, Q, you know. Uh, he, he a big nigga, so I, I ain't gonna fuck with you. Uh, <laughs> we gonna have to toast on that bitch. Swing. But you know what? He been smiling a lot, man. He might be a cuddle, a little cuddle bear, bro. You know, big nigga smile a lot. I'm like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Fuck with doggy, man. <laughs> no, I want to ask you your post story after that shit, dog. That nigga, that nigga around swim. <laughs> yeah, man. I should have let y'all go last, man. I mean, first. I get it, though, man. Yeah. Real is real. That's why I stay, man. I appreciate it. Like I said, end of the day, man, it's life's still life for everybody. So know, it sure. ain't no yeah, worse yeah. or better for no, everybody. No, no. It's just real shit growing up in the, in the inner city, dog. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't no telling what I did. Previously, you know, in my previous life, and that's you know what I be on sometimes. Yeah, for sure. But no, nigga, my karma, my karma, like no, nigga, for niggas, sure. niggas downplay karma, but karma is. A you big be thinking part about that shit? Life. What you gonna come back as, nigga? Because I sure don't want to come back as a zebra. <laughs> Why zebra? Why nigga not get ass ate up, nigga. Damn. <laughs> you ever watch the motherfucking animal pl- playing this shit? Yeah, be, yeah. Nigga, a herd of motherfucking lions come around the zebra. That nigga yeah, got no yeah, motherfucking words. Nothing. 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 And just, then they ain't even fast. That's just like an that. experience that the soul has to have. Right. You, die, you die. Oh, you got to think. The life plan of a zebra, they, they ain't living that long. They getting, hunt, they getting hunted. <laughs> uh, so you, sure. your soul going right back up. You coming right oh, yeah, down. Yeah, come, yeah, come back as Craig. Oh, <laughs> like, fuck out with that zebra for a little bit. Well, come back as Craig. <laughs> Craig and Day Day. Yeah, come back as something. Got to you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> shit, shit, man. I think his poor story might have took care of everybody's poor story. <laughs> that nigga poor as hell. I didn't even want to talk about the roaches in the cereal or <laughs> milk outside. I think about when I had we had a refrigerator, we just had like an uh, ice box. Come on, man. So, we still y'all y'all shit is important to us, no, man. We, we, we just had I remember know. like we used to stay on Concord uh, <laughs> off of grass shit. And um that's poor enough, right there. <laughs> <laughs> At least we did have a big house squatting in that bitch. <laughs> so we can we can we can afford refrigerator the time, dog. So we had to get this cooler every day. We had to go to the gas station and get ice, pour that bitch in there. Make sure you drink all the milk up so you ain't getting no gallon because you're going to waste that shit. Oh, so you got to yeah. get a, What was that? A half a, a half quart. A yeah, no, a no. Quart. A quart. A quart. Every day you get in the quart. Oh, yeah. We had no motherfucking heat. So me and my brother sharing bath water. So he got to take it Damn. first. 
he got to take it first because he's not as dirty as me because he's young. <laughs> so when he get that bitch, he got to go dip in. I come in, dip in. You know what I'm saying? Just shit oh, like that, dog. I ain't mean to laugh, bro. No, that was cool. <laughs> Space here in between both rooms, try to warm us up and shit. Oh, for sure. Like he said he was dirty. I was dirty in him. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. We both with that bitch swimming in some dirty water. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did y'all ever, real quick before you ask, did y'all ever have the experience, man, going to your cousin's house and sharing milk? Like, what you talking about in the bowl? Yeah. Oh no, I never did I that never shit. shit. King bro. vitamins. I just put water oh, King vitamins. You gotta eat that shit quick. I just put yeah, water then, in my but shit, man. after they eat their cereal, don't drink that milk, nigga. You gotta pass it. No, 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 you know we had that focus hope shit. We had that, you know, the evaporated yeah. shit. So I take powder milk. Yeah, I powdered yeah, that, that shit. I ain't, I ain't like that. I ain't give a yeah. fuck, nigga. I was one of them little. That's kids. that one percent like, milk, nigga. Shit up. Half percent milk, nigga. It was one morning I can remember, nigga. Like I was whipping up the little powdered milk. Focus hope. My mama just bought the cereal the day before, so we opened it up. Go back in that bitch to open them. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to make me and my sister a bowl. Nigga, that bitch was full of roaches. Man. Damn, you know, dog. I'm talking about, you could see, they, as soon as you open up the thing, this is a new bag, bro. We just opened it yesterday. Oh, damn. It's coming up out that bitch. Like, How you had to, they put them in there? No, no they, they, they just came from y'all crib. Oh, y'all, had, <laughs> y'all had them superhero roaches off shroom. That's where that shit came from. I never heard it. They ate through the box and the bag. Goddamn, shroom, man. <laughs> Now we had roaches, but they wasn't eating through new shit. That was the West Side roaches. Yeah, like, oh, man. Crab roaches. I can't make that shit up. Bro. Get a little story, mo. Fuck up your mind, bro. <laughs> no, you had to swim with an alligator pit, goddamn. <laughs> fuck. You had alligator grass in your face. <laughs> no, yeah, that shit funny, dog. Yeah, I got, God. I got the battle story. Like my sister, I had a sister. Uh, I love her to death. <laughs> you to we gonna talk some shit. shit. <laughs> she used to sleep with her mouth open. Uh, she used to wake up at least twice a week with a, a crunched up roach in that bitch. Oh, no, no. So that mean you you chew while you sleep too. Oh, no, that true. bitch definitely been crushed. <laughs> no, what no. you doing? Like, yeah. So that's yeah. my roach story. <laughs> But it, 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 at the end of the day, all those adversaries really no, for sure. built it, some, it some ill niggas, bro. Like, yeah, this, make you this, who you are, dog. You this appreciate this a, that shit, bro. Yeah, this yeah. is a panel of ill niggas. Yeah, right now, my kids so. ain't never seen no poor shit that we ain't seen. Man, so. and that's what. Like, We've been broke, but they don't know about being poor. It's different man. being broke and, and then be, and being poor. That, that, that might be something you need to ask because, man, what about the kids? Nah, bro, they so entitled. Like my kids, <laughs> my kids think they supposed to wake up, bro. I don't even understand. Like I don't even know. Like Dude. they just wake up and expect everything, bro. And it's just like we yeah. fucked them up, man, yeah. for sure. But we didn't. It, it's a blessing in the sense because you don't want to have to take them through what we went. Through, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not for sure. So we strive for that, but did we fuck them up in a different way? Because my kids entitled, like yeah, 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 it, it is a. I mean, you look at it like that, because like I said, man. Good I, kids. Maybe, yeah, they be expecting. They expect everything. Man. Once you start that shit, you got to finish it. Like, you know what I'm saying? But my kids, like my oldest son, he understand like sometimes, hey, bro, we ain't got it this week. Nigga, we broke. Man. They don't ask me for no motherfucker. No, ask me for nothing. Like today, they don't ask me for shit. Damn. I just pay all these bills, nigga. I got a couple dollars left, nigga. Like, don't I, I I I heard you about it sounded like you was about to say don't ask me for shit to eat. Either. I was about to say shit. Don't Damn, do I eat today? Hold on, cuz I think uh I think uh mom yeah. need to take on finance. Yeah. Uh pops, we can't eat today. Yeah. Don't, don't oh, you need to cut this sports center uh subscription the fuck. <laughs> don't ask me for shit to eat this bitch, nigga. You better motherfucker uh, eat the motherfucking news, nigga. All yeah, day. Do, do your kids, do your kids have a sense of entitlement? Super yeah. sense. And, I, and, it, and it, it made me think about when they get have to face adversity, will they be able to Man, prepare it? for it? Yeah. yeah, and that's what scared me. Yeah. But and it don't scare me. It, it don't. Yeah, it don't. Because uh, by the time they doing sense. that, you got to think they're gonna be adults. Because right now we handle everything for them. So by the time you got to handle that adversity, you're gonna be an adult. You're gonna be in adulthood. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Now, I, I, it don't scare me for them to uh, become the, the great great people. I know they're gonna be, but it scares me if. Are they gonna be computerized? Yeah, that's one thing. Before they get to that point, to a point, because I'm talking about everything is. I'm talking about it. Be one group of kids know everything, and they they look like robots. But then yeah. my kids, then it'd be another group of kids that. But all of it, the it's like it's crazy, bro. The TikTok and the social media is lit if you use it for. But the way it's transforming bro, our kids. This look outside. You don't see niggas ride bikes and like niggas be on people's porches. My porch. kids will not go outside. No, niggas bro. be on. You used to be on people's porches. Like, all right, you go motherfucking Marcus crib. Everybody on Marcus porch. Like, all Man, right, yeah, his mama come home from work. Get the fuck off. All right, we about to go down the motherfucking J shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? 
No, not we, we bounce around from crib crib, man. As soon as your mama kick you out, it's too hot. Get the fuck out this bitch. Yeah, man. Group for a FaceTime. My kids ain't gonna go outside. I think you don't have to play you play a game with somebody who's in Africa, dog. Like you don't have to be right next to a nigga to play that, a game that, no more. Exactly. We used to do mad tournaments in the crib. All, everybody in the room stinking. <laughs> room smell like motherfucking young ass in that bitch, dog. Like <laughs> oh, everybody in the motherfucking shit game. playing the game and shit, dog. Take a turn. Say the dream cast. What is that? 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 <laughs> what? Mike check one two one two. Oh, it's about the young ass. I should have said that. Oh, I said no, nigga. She ass say dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Because when, when kids go on break, they go on break, nigga. When, right. they, yeah. when they don't oh, go to yeah. school, I, I coach basketball. Yeah. I told these niggas, just because y'all niggas not in school, don't mean don't take a shower. Hey, real, real spill, man. No, my, they, they, y'all come to practice, man. Y'all boy, already practice. Boys man. don't even like to get boy, in that oh bitch no more. That shit over. I got, a, I got a 14 year old, bro. I swear. I swear. If they out of school on a spring break or anything, he like I'm on break. But I'm brushing my teeth for. Like, what? I'm so, bro- the, so you having the next week you go back? Cause if no. you like, but he be for real, bro. Like, what I'm showering for? Nigga, I'm on break, nigga. Yeah, I'm like in my room. Oh, don't let the summertime come. Oh my God, what happened to Virgil? <laughs> this nigga be so ratchet. <laughs> Oh, and they yeah. they gotta train their mind too when they that young to For to sure. move when they don't want to move. Because yeah. as an adult, if you get to a point where you stuck in your ways, if you like, I'm gonna do this next week. You're not gonna fucking no, do it next not. week because you haven't trained yourself to do what you don't want to do. Oh, no. I, I'm a procrastinator. I, I can schedule something to do and I will do it because if I ain't gonna feel like doing that moment, I ain't. But I I I'm him. Uh, Focus enough to be like, all right, all right I this the deadline. I got it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. this, this how the universe worked though. The, the minute you had the idea and you were supposed to put it in motion, something was supposed to happen in that motion, uh-huh. and you didn't do it. So now you waited to do it, and then they ain't gonna have that same motion. Damn, that, I, I appreciate that, Jim. Well, what about cutting the grass, my nigga? <laughs> that <laughs> shit <correct. laughs> like, fuck, What the universe got right now? Shit, fuck that. No. But, no, I feel that though. I, I'm then when you go to cut it, it's gonna rain. You ain't gonna be able to cut your shit. Uh, yeah, then she's gonna bring me more. Yeah, that's cool. Cause I got another week. And then... <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that bitch bando house looking at. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, you know, well, I, grass, say, no, I hate especially, especially I stay in a little white neighborhood. Uh huh. Your grass get to getting high, like they looking at you all crazy, like looking at uh, these niggers, man. <laughs> and, and real talk, like you know, I like just to say we got the nicest house in the creek in in our little cul-de-sac, but we the only youngest black couple there, you yeah. know. And they like the type of your grass. They gonna call get too high. No, they putting a the note on something. Or your door <laughs> or something, something no, like, for sure, for sure. And we ain't even in the little HOA, and we be like, "What the fuck?" But yeah, they like that. But these yeah. motherfuckers cut their grass twice a week. Hell yeah. And you know what? I'm just want to say, the why the women out there cut their grass, bro. I swear to God, the the women mm-hmm. cut the grass and do all the yard work. Yeah. Man, my wife ain't never touch a lawnmower ever or nothing. But that's crazy. Yeah, that's for sure. Think about. Hell yeah! <laughs> now, though, we been having a good ass conversation, bro. We even got to the, to the to the motherfucking movie and shit. Usually we talk about a whole bunch of shit, but we just been chopping it up. And that's that's cool. But talk about you know what I'm saying the making of uh, motherfucking Uncle Roommate and shit, dog. And you know what I'm saying what's what's it all about? Uh, Uncle Roommate is a is a movie that I came up with based off of a, a uncle that lived with me basically during there like my whole life. For sure, he grew up. He my mama brother, so he kind of grew up in the household with me as I was young. He bullied the fuck out of me all the time. <laughs> the nigga so dope, had hoes. He did a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? He ice. <laughs> he, and he, 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 he liked it to fight. That's the only thing I didn't really like. Had a character like like on some fighting shit because I wanted to be more scarier than my uncle. My uncle was on some Debo shit. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, okay. Straight. So I, had, so I had to be a hoe. My uncle, my uncle was <laughs> like crazy. he was he was like half you and half Cardi in real life. Oh. Okay. So I was like, all right, I want him, you know that character to be like this, but um. So when I came up with the movie, bro, I, I kind of seen it. I, you know, I don't write movies like how other people write them. They sit down and, oh, I'm gonna have it like this, and I I go into it and envision it and write it down like a stenographer as I'm seeing it go. You know, so I seen my uncle all that shit. That's why when when he came in to read for 
uh, Officer Minx because he was supposed to be Minx. Go oh, officer ass nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, it, so when he came in to read and I was hearing Deep Pounds, because Deep Pounds do this little shit in between uh, when he yeah. say funny shit. He's like, huh, like, shit like that. So it was like, I was thinking about the character. I'm like, no, nah, that fit that character. Mm-hmm. I just, I'm, I analyze people real good when For it comes sure. to the character. For sure, hell yeah, hell yeah. So with this, with this, with this shit though, like you want, because when we think about comedy in Detroit, first thing we think about is like buffed up. Mm-hmm. Like, are you trying to be like, all right, when niggas? No, think- you gonna think of Uncle Roommate. Yeah, 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 yeah. No pun sure. to you know, uh, but you know, buffed sure. up because I fuck with uh T and all of my moolah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But this right here, it supersedes that, bro, because it supersedes what buffed up was as far as uh, not saying supersede the movie as far as what for they sure, did. No, for sure. I'm talking about. Why I was taking this movie to is it's like a mix of Martin, a mix of uh Friday, mm-hmm. a, you know what I'm saying? I wanted like that everyday typical story that everybody can relate to. Everybody got that uncle that came home from jail, got this nigga institutionalized, yeah. and we trying to normalize this nigga, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And you can't normalize this nigga, like he can only like bring you into his world for sure. For sure. What about you, D Pounds? Like when you've seen, seen a movie and you got your bro changed from being an officer and shit to motherfucking uncle and shit, dog. Yeah. So, uh, um, just first of all, I want to say, um, uh, like about the buffed up compared, like it, it's really a timing thing because shout out to them. They really like almost down there pioneered that way because that really put it on the map. But as far as the timing and what the black movie network is now, like, this bitch just about to take off because of that end to give him his flowers right now. This nigga's a genius, bro. Like, mm-hmm. this movie is so fucking classy because everybody can tie it to it at some point. You got a crazy auntie, a homeboy who always talking shit. <laughs> Motherfucker don't never take nothing serious. An uncle who fucked her. Like, it got so many different aspects of it. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, it just show you lessons about like family and shit and then at the end of the day having a back but then it got the detroit culture all the way through it you know what i'm saying like motherfucker cameo is crazy you know what i'm saying and uh it it got it got a little spin on it so unk ain't all the way fucked up you know you gotta check the movie out because unk do some shit to 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 make sure everybody straighten that bit you know what i'm saying but it's just shows it's just a movie that shows you like real shit and when families stick together, what they can accomplish. Yeah. And I'm I'm a, I'm an English major nigga, so the way I explain shit, because I see D Pounds did his political cleaning up of the shit or whatnot. I had to, bro. but no, but but see, like when I when I went out of town, right when Buffed Up first came out, mm. I went out of town and was telling my people about it. Yeah, and they was like. Buffed up. What the fuck is buffs? For sure, for sure. Yeah, they yeah. didn't know what buffs was, so when you say shit like that. It, it's colloquial. Mm-hmm. Colloquial is that mean that it means something to us in this area. Yeah, they sure. don't know what it means. Yeah, over there, yeah, so they yeah, had yeah. to catch on to it. Right. Opposed to Uncle Roommate, the, the minute you hear the title, exactly. yeah, you, you already yeah, you know, you know what the fuck is going yeah, on. So, sure. so that's where I'm talking about the difference. That's why I said oh, yeah. it ain't a monetary thing or nothing like sure, that. It's right. more so the type of movies that it is. Mm-hmm. This comedy will be more so they gonna look at it like. That's from Detroit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a bad motherfucker. They yeah, ain't gonna. Sure. They're not gonna compare it to Buffed Up. Right? Yeah. Like they're not but, gonna pair Buffed Up to it because mm-hmm. there's right. two completely different lanes of comedy. Right. Sure. But I, I just, I just kind of put that instance on it because, uh, like I said, it right, right now in this moment, what seven, eight years later, we're still comparing. Like so. We all know, and we got the concept that Buffed Up was one of them motherfucking For movies sure. that started. What we all now, yeah, so we appreciate Detroit, yeah, that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They actually put me in my first first movie. Not to take nothing from my dog right here, yeah, this, yeah. it gave me some real lead shit. But it they had filmed it a while ago. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really. I kind of forgot about it. Mm-hmm. But you know, they just had to come in, and that bitch was lit. And yeah. you know, the but I, and I fuck with them. But like I said, you you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's the shit because we still comparing it. But yeah, Uncle Roommate is. On the national level, everybody yeah. can. What what's some what's some roommate rules, bro? Me and my wife was talking about this shit. She was saying if you got somebody living with you, that you shouldn't be fucking all loud and shit like that. Like it's my crib though. That's why I kept telling her it's my house. Man, that's fucked up. So if, if I get my if my if my brother living with me, she's saying like we should we can't be going pound town crazy. Like we can't be making screaming and shit, that bitch and shit. Yeah, because she don't want to let your brother hear her yeah. like 
Yeah. Yeah. So what's what's the roommate rules, bro? I, I, I have y'all ever been that broke roommate that y'all was living somewhere and broke as hell? Uh, I, I won't say broke. Like me nah, and my nigga, we had an agreement. <laughs> like nigga, you pay this half, I pay. But we lived in some nice shit. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. So, uh, but some roommate rules. When man. I was younger, we had a competition. Like, let's see who can, you know, fuck in my house. And it was real. Like, typical niggas do that. And you know, I was, this was way way back in the day. Yeah. But, uh, I'm fucking around lost. <laughs> like my bitches, as soon as I made the bed, my bitches just disappeared and stuff. Like, and I'm talking about, bro, this nigga just took off. Like, damn, nigga, you, you got six, but I only still got one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. So I said, man, fuck you. Now I'm about to get in a relationship. <laughs> yeah. so, but yeah, one roommate to say the roommate rule, man. Uh I I would think. Uh, clean up after yourself, man. Cause that's one thing I hate, man. I hate no, a nasty, sure. grown motherfucker who don't take that into consideration. <laughs> no, fast. You know, clean up for y'all after yourself, and yeah. don't and don't uh have Anaconda be the first song you think about. Oh man, talking about your roommate. Sir, mix a lot. Shout out to my nigga Max Pack. <laughs> that's what I thought you were about to say. What's your What's your roommate rule, bro? What's some shit that you got do's and don'ts and being a motherfucking roommate or yeah. having a roommate? Do's and don'ts of having a roommate. Man, that's a hard question, man. Cause I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be i be pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I kind of or you be with shit. your lady, right? I mean, because you said you and your lady that was y'all. Uh, Wait, we just talking. What you mean? We watch, your brother. We watching Insecure, and oh, and uh, I guess uh, one season my man was pounding his girl, but he has homegirl Issa staying there and shit. Oh, I seen that. Yeah, and, and she like he was inconsistent. I'm like, dog, I'm like, I'm like, how? That's his crib. Like, yeah. no, but you know what? Though, you, you, I don't like what niggas like roommates. They get got common niggas that come through, mm-hmm. and then them niggas start coming through, and like, then they're trying not to knock on the door. They're trying oh, yeah, to come in that sure. bitch, like, oh, yeah, no like, etiquette in that bitch. Yeah, man, you gotta knock on that motherfucking door. Yeah, like, man. <laughs> for real. No, for sure, for sure. We got, we got, what, let me know what time and shit, man. A nigga at work, dog. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> his manager watching <laughs> this shit right now. Shit, like, <laughs> nigga, you said he's gonna get some baloney. <laughs> <laughs> Interview smoke trees. <laughs> no, I ain't never coming back. Did some strolls. Oh, I did the shad versus everybody show, nigga. I made it, bitch. <laughs> no, yeah, sorry, that's a fact. That's a fact. That nigga that never lied, dog. Yeah. Now, when you what, what's some shit with this movie you want to achieve? Like, you want to be that nigga that they feel you got to go to? Because for some reason, why I, I think about Detroit movies, I always think about just Detroit. Like, do you ever think outside of that shit, like? Like nigga, it just ain't gonna be a Detroit movie. My shit gonna be a movie. Like everybody gonna see it. I like what they say it's a Detroit movie because I love Detroit. I don't know mm-hmm. you. Cause some people be disrespect like now, yeah, but, with, but now when we say that, nigga, like you know, we we top of the top. We creme de la creme. Mm-hmm. We the top earners on that bitch. We putting out the most content on all the platforms. So now when we say that, you know, you a Detroit filmmaker, that shit's come with prestige. For sure. And it come with a, a level of you gotta come with too. Because mm-hmm. now we coming out with shit. And with this movie, bro, like I really, I don't want it to be like, oh, this. That's why I don't really like the comparisons, like with the buffed up and shit. Like, T, I got a project coming out called the, the Projects. I, I want the best comedy out at the time. Not I don't give sure. a fuck what okay. comedy out or where it's from. Mm-hmm. I want the best comedy out. There. Like when this bitch hit, it's, it's very solid, bro. Because the storyline, these niggas is naturally funny, so it wasn't no forced comedy. Like you get that a lot and shit. It, mm. This wasn't no forced comedy. Everybody was like perfect for the roles that they played, sure. and you will see how they fit, bro. They fit like that's what Friday and the the classicness of those comics comedies that we know because of how those characters fit those roles. For sure. Now we know Friday one is the classic, but which one is better, Friday two or Friday three? Friday, Friday after next, right? Or Friday after next well, and next. I, I say next Friday, Friday and Friday. I say next. Friday after next. Christmas joint, just because, yeah, get the Christmas joint. It, it had I say it's, more. I, I, say I like the day they would though. I like the day they. He was in both of the bitches. But he like part I mean, two. The, the part Joker. Oh yeah. yeah, see that's the one I think. I think it go in order one, oh, two, pinky, three. Thank you, thank you, thank you, for real. Yeah, right. I think it go one, two, three. Uh see, I, me personally, like I, so when I first watched the first party, I wasn't a weed smoker, so that, it kind of missed me. And then you know I wasn't in the gang shit, so, mm. you know. What I'm <laughs> but. My favorite was the Christmas joint. Yeah. But then I smoke. I'm like, okay, I can appreciate Friday. For sure, for sure. But Friday at the next had so many different spectrums yeah. of it. Like, yeah. So I don't know. 
Yeah, that's, that's my shit. I always ask that question, dog. We be arguing about that shit. He say three, I say two and shit, dog. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Classic. Now, with the movie, what's some shit did you want to get out of this shit, D-Pounds? You want uh, to motherfucking be considered uh, the next Denzel? Nigga, what's some shit did you want to get out of this shit, D-Pounds? You want to motherfucking be considered the next Denzel in this bitch? Or you... Uh, well, you know, that's me already. For I'm sure. Sign up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, real talk, man, I, I just, uh, I can sit here and say like, yeah, man, I want my followers to go up. I want the price to go up. And mm-hmm. yeah, you know, nigga, strive for that. That's cool, man. Um, but realistically, man, I want people to see a <laughs> look at the character and just see the genuine side of me and what what you know I bring to the table in any aspect of life because I got a you know a lot to offer, like mm-hmm. I said, comedy and acting, this and that. But I, I kind of want people to fall in love with D Pound's character as a whole, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. So that that's more so what. Mm-hmm. And and a big check at the end. No, for sure. Know, yeah. long, long long as my nigga ain't sell the rights already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Now I know you into music, bro. That's yeah. your first love before this whole right shit. Yeah. I know you into comedy. Give me three people that influenced you rap wise, and three people that influenced you comedy wise. Not necessarily your favorite, but just influenced you. Uh, I mean, I got influenced by different musicians and mm. it just transitioned to rap because you know i do the beats and and the sing i was singing before i actually rap mm-hmm. i just rapping just just what actually came out and people started being notable because mm-hmm. you rapping and singing back in the time when i was doing it they was like man don't do that shit. yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right well give me three singers that influence you seeing you more into uh, the r&b shit. i'm i'm gonna say like uh <laughs> marvin gay okay uh Tupac was a big influence for me too. For sure. Course. Hell yeah, my favorite rapper ever and shit. Uh <laughs> big <laughs> Curtis Mays, the jazz. Yeah. Okay. D boy. No, because I'm out, that's how my oh, jazz, I fuck with jazz. Though. My music, bro, like it just if you listen to it all of it, like you're like, okay, I see where he for sure. A lot of them beats and shit I come through with like, mm-hmm. come from that type of shit. So it's the vibe, bro. It's for the what about you and your influences as far as uh, the comedy um, game? Uh, as far as me, um, comedy wise, man, I, I would say Martin, of course, uh, Def Comedy Jam, uh, Mike Epps, mm-hmm. for sure. And um, uh, outside of celebrity wise, uh, I gotta say my dad, you for know sure. what I'm saying? Because, man. They never just took nothing serious. Right? <laughs> and then, like sense of humor, you got like it, it's lit. Like, but yeah, him, bro. He just never took shit serious, bro. Like, for sure. Nigga, be in the, my mom looking for something in the refrigerator. He pumping behind her booty. <laughs> that's me. And, shit, and we die and laugh, me and my little brother, because we think that's funny as fuck. But you know, he just. But that's him, bro. I don't think my mama know that to this day. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hell no. What, what what's been your worst time on stage, bro? So far. Oh shit. Um, not niggas act like they too good to laugh. Yeah, oh, this Detroit, man. Yeah, like, oh, Detroit, nigga, you funny. Detroit, that that's it, nigga. Ain't gonna laugh. Like, nigga, you funny. Yeah, we straight on you, nigga. But if you can, if you can get Detroit and fuck with you, all Cause mm-hmm. y'all, like you going saying with the movies, like, yeah, Detroit, Detroit really be building the culture right now, everywhere. Like, yeah. niggas done caught on to the buffed up, and niggas always still our swag. It's just like Detroit, yeah. them ones now, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But to go to that, um, Shit, man. I want to say the third show I ever did yeah. was that little spot called Genius. And the first two shows, you know, just me and a couple of my people I worked with, they was doing comedy too. Yeah. And we ended up selling it out. You know, the fam- all the family wanted to see it. We was funny. Yeah. Cool. It went good. They were like, y'all did a good job. Second show was more sort of court co workers and stuff like sure. that. And like, oh, okay, cool, cool. Third show, you know, I'm, I'm getting the big head. Like, oh, I'm yeah. headlining this and that. You know, yeah, cool. Sure. Man, I done hyped up maybe. Man, when I say I had Al Qaeda strapped to my goddamn <laughs> chest, I'm talking about boom bomb. Oh my god, nigga! Like the... for the love of Allah, I bombed out that bitch, bro. <laughs> Do you hear me? Like Duh, that was. And it, I went bro. outside, nigga, and uh, I just was like, "What the fuck?" I was I was ready. To but you talking about quitting? Yeah. yeah. It, I, but you know, I, I I stepped back and. At the time, you know, my wife, she was a big supporter at the time, and she helped me to understand, like, uh, it was just about you getting the big head. 
For sure. So you got it. Just for was sure. your humbling moment. Let me so. ask you this, like, because shout out to my dog Uncle Smooth, man. That's my dog. He came oh, on the podcast. That's, that's my baby. He yeah. always challenging me, though. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, it, um, have you ever seen somebody come from our town who supposed to be funny and shit, but you like that nigga really ain't that funny? Oh, all the time. Or all, all, funny all niggas that be like, damn, them niggas really ain't that cool. Oh, yeah. now that <laughs> that right there is ninety percent, ninety five. Yeah, I mean you get your you got your handful of them that fuck with you, but yeah, a lot of them niggas because they they fear Detroit and mm-hmm. they don't realize like that's the media. Like we really cool ass niggas, bro. For like, sure. I'm gonna blow my weed with you. I ain't gonna actually match, nigga. I just really want some knowledge from you. You know, For how sure. you get this off. They don't look at that, yeah. but a lot of them do though. So I, I fuck with the ones that fuck with well, us. Who, who the coolest nigga from from out the city that you had an encounter encounter with? Oh uh, shit, man! Um, they don't stay in Detroit. Like a comedian, uh, I want to say, man, Rodney Perry. Uh, He's he, gonna be cool he ass nigga. Like you know, what I'm saying he down to earth. He fuck with me, and you know, he wanted to type to like, and he told. He told per se, you know, Jay Will this, you know, but he like, bro, if I if I still had my show, mm. I would put you on a plane at night. Yeah. And he was like, I will let you bring dog with you because he's funny too. And I was newer then, but he was like, he's funny too. But nigga, you're hilarious. And I was just starting. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Nah, you know, some might question our nah, I, 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 I little, little bro, Jay Will. So, so I, know, <laughs> I, 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 let me not think. But no, for real, like Rodney Perry was one of them niggas who show like okay it's some real ill niggas who sure. fuck with you if they had the opportunity by yeah. that time you know he was doing hell yeah so. hell shout out to the comedians man that shit hard i wanted to do that shit but i don't know how that shit i ain't know where to start oh you wanted to do comedy yeah but i'm trying to start off stage bro that's hell it no, like, that. hey, it, boo, it's throw, just one of them things you can't, chair about them ass. you can't learn yeah. it's just somewhere in you i'll like, try to write a joke we we gonna have me and my cousin we always had like game nights but we was gonna have joke nights that's when everybody go there and do three minutes of comedy I just but I'm like niggas don't want to do it. Niggas at, at, at the gay, gay wait. So where would y'all do that? Just at the crib. Just, uh, you know oh what yeah, saying? see, oh, yeah. the niggas was too like yeah. shy. Like me and my cousin was the only one who wanted to do it. But uh-huh. everybody else acting like they was too good to do it. And shit. Would you do it? Too good or too shy? Three minutes is a long time. All right, mm-hmm. one minute, dog. Because I had, I had to my, my, my one ski. I said I, t- I told it to my wife, and she was like, she ain't laugh. I'm like, damn. But see, I, I see, quit. don't you can't you can't take judge over that because yeah. you gotta understand if you are not practicing in that environment, you are yeah. not able to. Because the skill was basically shit. saying like how niggas go in the motherfucking um gas station scared to buy condoms because mm-hmm. they ain't buying Magnum. So when they, they wait for everybody to leave, like it get Magnum back, like nigga, give me a motherfucking Trojan. Yeah, and that's, <laughs> like, that's hilarious in itself. You know what I'm saying? So imagine you being able to take that on stage and polish it, and, but tell it sure. into a yeah. story. Yeah, that yeah. a motherfuckers on here because motherfuckers can relate. Because you know the first thing when you buy yeah. condoms in the gas station, hey, give me get Magnum. Yeah, you for say sure. your chest out, shit. Uh-huh. So anybody leave, hey, nigga, give me a motherfucker trojan. Yeah, <laughs> see, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that, nigga, all, we all done did it. For like sure. nigga going there, and I know a lot of niggas who are going there and act like they want to go get a honey pack, but then they be like, man, let me get a uh, pack of uh, Swisher leaf. <laughs> but then when everybody out the store, they do back like, damn, I forgot to get some gas. Oh, let me get that honey pack. You know what I'm saying? So, but. <laughs> If you was able to just put that on stage yeah, and, for and sure. polish it up, yeah. you know, because everybody got a yeah, for funny sure. story and they like, but everybody don't got the ability to tell exactly, it. exactly. So it's worth it a is. shot. It's yeah. worth a that shot. That should be hilarious, know? dog. Now, dog, I, I I I listen to music and I take bars and shit, but I want to understand on the song you had called "Exclusive." You say I'm making sure this love is strong because when it's real, it don't take that long. Like, oh, nigga, do you really like if you know that a chick is for you off the rip, like you bouncing on it, like? Damn, she like wife material. It's off a of, off of one conversation or one encounter or one date. Like, can you can you really uh get that shit out of it? Yeah, now at this point in my life, mm-hmm. when you get to a certain point, you know you can read it, woman. You mm-hmm. can read women what their intentions is, what type of shit that they into. What you know, a woman's interest will show you her mind for sure. So maybe what about you, dog? Can you like you think you can vibe with somebody off the rip? Like, damn, she seemed like the one. Oh, uh, yeah, I um. Cause that, I, I mean, that, a lot of niggas and hoes be well, perfect see, like Kobe sometimes. See, well, I, would, <laughs> I won't go that far as I think she the one. Mm-hmm. Because for me, bro, I, I, I got the ability to look deep into a person and they actually, they saw whatever. But that's uh, something else. But I can definitely uh, tell if the vibe is genuine. But on Bill, I'm going to give her the latest vibe she done had in a long time. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Yeah. So if she able to feed off of that, I can fuck with it again. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm for saying? For sure. But as far as sex, yeah. first night, I, me personally, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I take pride in more of that. And plus, 
I'm gonna ask y'all this question: Can a can a girl be considered the, to be a hoe mm-hmm. or wholesome, still mm-hmm. wholesome, if she let y'all fuck on the first night? That's a question that always been around. I, mean, I, I, I think it depends on prior to it. We've been having conversations. We, we've been talking on the phone for like a month. We go out, then I fuck. All right, you kind of know me. All right, but cool. if I met you last night, then I, tomorrow, nigga, I fuck. Like, all right, this bitch be fucking yeah, up. Yeah. What right. if the vibe was lit? Like, what if y'all done kind of hang out the whole day? The vibe was lit. Yeah. Fuck with it. And we you just still, under, you're still like, yeah, she might be. Out. I have questions like, like, man, have you done this before? <laughs> hey, what about you though? <laughs> Is she a hoe or do she still got the potential to be? Because you're gonna you knock it down regardless, man, but you're gonna be thinking like <laughs> certain energy. I don't know, certain energy, bro. Certain certain women and certain men that get around each other, bro. They just can't connect. help help they so they just connect like that. Yeah. Right? yeah. But if I don't know, but some hoes is hoes. <laughs> so you like you indecisive. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, it because so, she might not. That might be her first time. She might have felt something she never felt nobody else. So I, I can't yeah. really say like, damn, she got hope, but some yeah. hoes just be hoes like that. See, so for me, it, for sure. it's about it's about at that point, it's about your discipline level. Like that would speak violence to me because mm. men they know men tend to draw that concept up. If I get this up, this yeah, for sure. Yeah. So the vibe can be lit. Like I said, I'm going to give you that vibe and maybe we'll have that chemistry, mm-hmm. but it's about your discipline. For I sure. want to be able to know that you display that in mm-hmm. any sense. Because yeah. 10 years down the line, shit, yeah, for sure. what you want. Hell yeah. So Now you, uh, on, on, I, um, you, I guess, Icon, I'm cool on niggas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was like, uh, I'm honest, I don't speak when I don't know shit. Highly allergic to niggas on bitch ass hoe shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> like, talk about like, because niggas, niggas don't know Shit, let's go for anybody. When you don't know shit, you shut the fuck up, dog. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Simple. bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of whole ass niggas out here that you, you know what I'm saying? It be on whole shit that you can't fuck with. Like, just talk about that, like, because it's hard for niggas not to say shit when they don't know nothing. Sometimes you just gotta sit back and just observe the shit and learn. I was going through so much shit when I did that song, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. That's why the song is like that. Like, it used to be a time when I was cool with niggas. Yeah. But at this very moment, man, I'm cool on niggas. It, I was feeling that way because niggas who I've been around for 10 and 12, 14 years was showing me who they was. Yeah. And you know, when you blind, bro, when you like just got your eyes closed and you just moving forward in the journey, you ain't really paying attention to niggas and for their, sure. their inconsistencies. You ain't looking at it. Mm-hmm. You just moving. Bro, when that when some shit happened to me in the relationship and it made me open my eyes and I me opening my eyes to that in the relationship made me open my eyes to every fucking thing and everybody sure. around me like, hold on, this nigga did that whole ass shit. And, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm already dealing with this shit. Man, man, hell no. I ain't dealing with you no more, my boy. Like, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. That kind of shit. Hell yeah. Dog. You be cool niggas, dog? You be uh, shutting the fuck up when you don't know shit? <laughs> oh, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my thing, man. Like, you know, I like to catch people vibe and, and, and see their intentions off bill before I, you know, Say what I got to say in any instance. Um, uh, just because man, niggas niggas are different. Niggas are weird this day. Man. But yeah, also, man, weirdos. you kind of want to watch who you match your energy with. At the no, same for sure, time too. For so sure. For sure. I definitely don't mind stepping back and you know, yeah. kind of being 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 uh somebody to soak up information, especially if it's worthwhile. Now, when you y'all talk about energies and stuff like that, like I understand what what niggas be coming from, but I hate when. Hood rat hoes be talking like they really know some shit. Oh yeah, mm. like bitch, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> exactly. Like, but you really, you can get like I, I I know dog really be on his shit, but you got some bitches that just woke up and watched the YouTube video. And now yeah. she swear she woke as fuck. It's and, a, it's a trend thing. Bitch, bro. you smoke black and miles and drink yeah. motherfucking yeah the, the worst liquor. <laughs> exactly. And you absolutely and you right. sound dumb when you trying to say what you say, dog. Like. Yeah. We we know I ain't gonna I never say no name, but everybody's like, oh shut the fuck up. <laughs> like bitch, like bitch, you dumb as hell. Like some of these hoes be like, some of these hoes be knowing they shit. Some of these bitches be annoying with the shit because bitch, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You just read some shit that Wallow uh-huh. posted. And now you now you woke as fuck. You're not even living. That's that you gotta <laughs> practice what you preach for sure. No, nah, fat say oh yeah. And it looks sweet yeah. to other people. Yeah, from them. Now the, the last uh, line I want to talk about was on Best of Me because we was on Shop Talk podcast. Shout out to Jay and Dane. They had me on there. We were talking about niggas being mad, and you said waking up mad like the world owe you a check. A lot of times niggas do wake up like bro. Like my man was saying on his show yesterday, some waking up is a blessing, bro, because you got a chance to change your situation. Yeah, no matter you, what you're going through. When you living life, what do you say? 
Damn, I don't even know the words to that shit. I know your own bar. I know your bar. Uh, like, my nigga got a ghostwriter. <laughs> <laughs> when you living life stress, you don't see how much you blessed. Waking up mad like the world owe you a check. Yeah. Yeah, and then some niggas Bars. like, bro, when you going when you going to work, bro, you might be mad about that job, but don't don't take that shit out of me. Exactly, it's it's the entitlement that people have, right? People feel like people owe them something, and nobody owes you shit. Mm -hmm. When you really want something, you are gonna think about it, you are gonna write it down, and you are gonna talk about it, you are gonna make it happen. Cause God gonna bring all the people to you that you need once you're doing all that shit anyway. For sure, hell yeah, hell yeah, fuck y'all, nigga, stop being mad. <laughs> exactly. Be happy, nigga. Wake up, nigga. You woke up, nigga. Shit. I mean, niggas be mad when they don't get no ass no more or they ain't getting there last night. So you wake up mad as fuck. Like, fuck oh, the world, cuz. Uh, <laughs> that's man. A lot of niggas got insecurities that they don't even try to fix. So. No, for that, sure. That's really what it is, man. For sure. fuck, fuck niggas, bro. Fuck yeah. weird niggas. Yeah, no, yeah. That's a campaign. That's be a whole campaign. Yeah, we need to get, we need get those t shirts, nigga. Fuck weird, females, fuck weird niggas, dog. Fuck real females. <laughs> they don't have no confidence, bro. Yeah. That's because women be making niggas unconfident, too, though. Mm -hmm. Cause they be they be feeling that women feel like give me the power, empower me, make me feel powerful. Yeah. Like what about you making that man feel powerful? For sure, hell yeah. And even if that man don't reciprocate it to you, another man will because that's how the universe works. For sure, what you put yeah. out, you gonna get back. Fast, fast. Now we in everything off, man. We had a good conversation, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Cause a lot of niggas. Well, I ain't gonna say a lot of niggas. I ain't gonna say that shit. You get some, very few. I had very few come on the show and don't don't even want to say shit. Be a bitch cool too cool. Like I think how was it growing up? It was cool. It was cool. <laughs> hey, look, they gotta come see Uncle Roommate though at uh for sure at uh MJR. We oh at, yeah, uh, yeah, on 21st, right? Yeah, 21st. This what is that? Friday. Friday, not this Friday, but next Friday. Right? Come on, it's only one more. Today, Friday, nigga. Oh, today Friday? <laughs> yeah, bro. God damn, I don't know the day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, that's them shrooms. Friday coming up, man. Next Friday. <laughs> we uh we are MJR Universal on 12 Mile and Dequinder. Sure. Uh, we still got some general admission tickets and we still got some VIP tickets. They're very fucking limited right now. Um, we want people to get them now before they're gone. Because once they're gone, then you're going to be in that motherfucker like, all right, waiting in the line. Hell you know yeah. Type shit, so. Hell yeah, dog. But shit, give me a drunk moment or a hot moment, man. A funny short story when you were drunk, high, or on cocaine. Dang. God damn. <laughs> <said, no>, <laughs> <laughs> what up? Drunk. High or on cocaine? Wait, no, no, you ain't got to do a cocaine. I know. Um, hi. How, how high he was I? Had a story of no. <laughs> like that was it. Oh, we yeah, I went in there with scooping canceled. them and uh, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> no, no, what up? Damn, I'd have been so high before, bro. Like, no, in Las Vegas. Oh, I remember that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh yeah. No, bro. I, I niggas got off the plane and nigga uh, fuse like nigga. I got this triple OG. Mm -hmm. I never had triple OG weed before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I smoked the weed, bro, and I was so fucking high, bro. I could I could feel the slow motion in my in my arm. So we walking on the strip, <laughs> and this little white bitch bumped the shit out of me. <laughs> you hear me? She bumped me so hard, bro. I fell like <laughs> I fell slow. Though my nigga fuse like, bro. Nigga, you just fell in sections. It's like your feet fell, <laughs> then your your ass hit the ground after <laughs> your back went down. After. He was like, "Bro, you high, high, nigga, for sure." Duh. I ain't never been that high before, bro. Duh. Some weed, bro. Did you get up and argue with her and shit after you fell? No, I said, "Excuse me," <laughs> like, bro, like, then you got bumped by Debo and him. <laughs> oh God, like. And she is, I think she said sorry, but I was so high, bro. I, I didn't even hear what she said. I was like, "Excuse me, I'm sorry." I, Bitch hit she, me. She didn't knock that nigga off the curb. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> On the strip, though. Oh, little nigga. And broke my, his my, ankle. My nigga Petty <laughs> Fuse. My nigga Fuse laughing at me. And oh, shit. I'm like, what's up, laughing? Oh, what about, give me a drum hot moment, bro. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, crack. <laughs> oh, God. Nigga, I was on crack. Come on, crack, baby. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, shit, man. So I, I just do a hot moment because that's more recent. All right. But uh, the first time I ever smoked and got high, man, uh, I fuck around and I took an edible and the lady told me, she said, don't eat the whole cookie. And it was small, bro. Yeah, for sure. And I, I bit that bitch and then I started feeling high, but then I caught the munchies. So yeah. I'm like, damn, I want to eat the rest of the cookie and solve <laughs> these munchies. And I ate that bitch. Bro, I promise. Two hours later, nigga, I was in my son's room just staring at him like... <laughs> Then I went in there and told him, I said, hey, baby, call the police. Uh, <laughs> I want to I want to I want to do something. 
and and I don't I don't feel right. Like I I I I want to just uh beat my son. Like it was for real. Like this is what I was telling him, bro. I was so glad. I was like, cause nigga, I wanted to stand there and just punch him. And I think that nigga was like four, bro. He's sleeping good in this little Ninja Turtle cover. And I'm like, yeah, I don't like. So I stopped doing edibles. But it was funny after we no. thought about it, cause nigga, we sat there and we made pancakes and spread peanut butter on them. Duh, sir. Oh, that shit was amazing. Fucked up. But yeah, man. Damn. Was, but yeah, I yeah, just that- started smoking, and it's been the greatest shit I ever started <laughs> in my life. <laughs> no, man. Hey, I appreciate y'all motherfuckers coming on the show, man. It was dope ass shit. Tell people where they can follow you at, where they can find you, and all that good shit, bro. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Max Payne, M A X X P A I N. Uh, Facebook, The Real Max Payne. Mm-hmm. And they kicked me off Twitter for whatever the fuck. I don't know what Elon Musk is on, bro. Nigga, you know why, nigga. You know, that's going to be for the next time. And you said oh, the movie man. dropping, or the premiere dropping on uh, the uh, 21st? Friday the 21st at MJR uh, Universal, 12 Mile Dequinder. And then August 4th, we in Atlanta uh, at uh, AMC Decap. Okay. And when will it be on, on streaming so you can watch it after the uh, to be, um, it should be like the middle of August for sure. Okay, because okay. I want to give it some time in between that that uh, August fourth premiere. For sure, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> what about you? Where can't find you on the on the, on the motherfucking scene and what you got going on? Uh, on Instagram, man, y'all can follow me at D Pounds Comedy. Uh, that's all one word. D P O U N D S Comedy. Um, I ain't on shit else. <laughs> Face my Facebook full. Uh, I ain't on Twitter. Max, nobody got kicked off. I'm saying that freaky shit on there. <laughs> <laughs> go to, y'all go to this last post. And y'all see why. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I think you really need charges filed against you. But, hey, so, what's the, what's the freaky shit? What's the crazy shit you searched on Pornhub? Oh, shit. No, nah, man. We done uh, this episode. <laughs> uh, I'm out, my boy. Yeah, I ain't about to. Uh, come on, cuz. Yeah, it's a wrap, my boy. <laughs> with a light hammer cat. Because I'm not about to do that. Hey, right, go search uh, handicap porn. That should be funny. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> I ain't never seen him. Uh, you see some dead legs and you put that motherfucker about cheering and shit. I ain't just never dead. seen. They got that on. Yeah, hell yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, I, I gotta watch that. it now. I, yeah, I ain't. I ain't nah. I ain't <laughs> shit, bro. That nigga, this interview is over. You know? Yeah, cause. Man, no, I, I appreciate y'all coming on this motherfucker. <laughs> that was sweet, bro. Man, appreciate. Shout out to everybody. Motherfucker, episode one sixty six. D pounds in the building. Max Payne, man. We out this motherfucker, man. No competition. Yeah.